Hello, everyone. This is Latia for you coming today with another scripture from the Lord. We're in Genesis chapter 3, verse 17, Acts chapter 2, verse 10, and Genesis chapter 2, verse 10. Let's go ahead and pray and we can get started. Thank you, Lord God, for this word. Help us to heed in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, you guys. Genesis chapter 3, verse 17. And to Adam, he said, because you have listened to the voice of your wife and have eaten of the tree of which I commanded you, you shall not eat of it. Cursed is the ground because of you. In pain, you shall eat of it all the days of your life. All right. And so this is um, speaking of Adam, when Eve and Adam ate of the tree of knowledge um, of good and evil. And so um, because they were, um, they had been told what not to do and they still disobeyed, that is why, you know, they were cursed, right? That is why they were banished from the garden. And that is a reflection of what God is speaking to us today is to let us know, you know, you don't want to be banished. Um, you don't want to be an unwise bride. Um, after God has told you to do something, after God has led you in a certain direction and then you don't heed it, right? You you just choose to go your own way. You follow after people rather than following after what God said, right? So um, Adam followed Eve and Eve followed the serpent. And so it, it, that was just a bunch of disorder, right? Because God had given the command to Adam. Adam um, should have said no. He knew the word, right? He knew what he was supposed to do. And, you know, he 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 did the wrong thing. And it says, because, and to Adam, he said, because you have listened to the voice of your wife and have eaten of the tree, that is basically letting us know, okay, since you've heeded someone else's voice rather than heeding my voice, you know, that is why this is coming upon um, you. And so uh, this, is, this is a reflection of the unwise bride following after, you know, anything other than God, following after the ways of the world, following after things that are not... Um, that are not going to lead her to that rest. And so it says, because you have listened to the voice of your wife and you have eaten of the tree of which I commanded you, you shall not eat of it. Cursed is the ground because of you. And that will be a reflection of tribulation. And it says in pain, you shall eat of it all the days of your life. And so um, because of that servitude was uh, the punishment, having to work was the punishment. And so in that same way, many people who are left in tribulation who end up cleansing their garments will be in servitude, right? Even um, in the house of the Lord. Um, I don't know that fully, but that's what I've read in the Bible. And so I have not studied that exact uh, part where the service, um, it says they will be in service to God um, in the house of God, servants in the house of God. All right. And so the second verse that the Lord um, gave me was Acts chapter two, verse 10, Phygra and Philantha, Egypt and parts of Libya belonging to Cyrene and visitors from Rome. And so this is not an issue of just Babylon or Americans or, or or first world countries. This is an issue all around the world with all people, right? Both wise brides and unwise brides. Well, a wise bride wouldn't be like that, but an unwise bride, right? People all around the world. And, and for this, the Phygra, Philantha, Egypt, and other parts of Libya belonging to Cyrene and other visitors of Rome, these are talking about devout people. So they will be unwise brides, right? Because they're devout people who don't have Christ. And so um, this is speaking of the fact that all around the world, people are following other people. They're not following after God. They're not listening for God's voice. Um, they're following men, right? Even if it's your, you, it doesn't matter who the man is, what the designation of the man is. It could even be a spiritual person, a Christian person. You are not to follow people. You are to follow God. Um, you are to follow what the Holy Spirit is letting you know to do. 
All right. And so the third verse that the Lord gave me was Genesis chapter two, verse 10, a river flowed out of Eden to water the garden and there to divide and became four rivers. And so we know that this represents provision, right? Even in the lack of wisdom, even in sin, even in um, you know, following after man, God still has a way of provision. And for, for many people it'll be through cleansing the garment through tribulation, right? Um, they're going to have to do it manually, but, but God has made a way for them. And that is in the way that made in tribulation, you know, it, it won't be an easy way by any means, but, um, they're going to have to live out that curse of of the test on the earth amen all right you guys let's pray god we thank you so much for this day we thank you for giving us this word and helping us to know this is the hour of the apostasy and we want to not be a part of that god help us to heed your voice and heed your ways lord god help us to know how to follow after you, Lord Jesus. Help us to not be a part of the falling away, Lord Jesus. And for those people who are listening who may be in tribulation um, during that time, Lord God, give them encouragement. Give them your word, God. We know that all things are possible through you, Lord Jesus. We give you all the glory. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. All right, you guys. If you um are, if you would like to receive Jesus as your savior and Lord, go ahead and pray this prayer with me. But more than anything, believe it with all your heart as you confess it with your mouth. Dear Lord Jesus, I ask you to come into my heart. I make you my Lord and savior. Jesus, I believe you died on the cross and I believe you rose again on the third day so that I could be saved. Thank you, Father God, for doing this for me. In Jesus name, I pray. Amen. All right, you guys. It may the Lord bless you and keep you. May he make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you and give you his children his peace. Take care. <laughs>